La la la. What's up guys, it's your boy Jifty here, Racket it again with another video and finally, it's time for the video of me unboxing the master case. So before you skip ahead of the video, there's just some things you need to take note of. First of all, this video is hella long, that's right, it's almost 30 minutes long. So if you wanna watch the video, I hope maybe you're sitting comfortably or you can watch this video in parts, I don't know, up to you. But just know that I tried to make this video as short as possible already. It was 40 minutes and now it's down to 30 minutes. So yeah, you're welcome. Another thing is there are letters, yeah, that's right, letters scattered around this video during the unboxing. What are these letters for? Well, let's just say that they will help you out for the second giveaway which I'm gonna host in the future. So if you have the time, have fun finding those letters. Alright, so with that in mind, I'm not gonna hold you back any longer. I hope you guys enjoy the unboxing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And guys, back to the Drifter Cave. Here it is, guys. This is how big it is. Here is my hand for a scale. This thing is... I mean, it is enormous, but it was bigger in my head than a picture. But still, this is insane, guys. We won this. So for those who have not seen a master case, there's like some art in the side. Not all of them, though. For example, there's some cars with two colors. For example, this one, there's a red, but there's also a white variant, but they only include one color. But they like list out all of the mini series that came out this year so check this out and for those wondering it is sealed this was the first thing i looked at when i was uh, you know getting the price and for those wondering also 41 out of 700 that's right there are only 700 of all of the, these cars with the factory sealed stickers so i'm sure you guys are excited as me to open this right up so let's not waste any more time as i'm opening and going through the cars i'll do a voice over let's go all right so opening up the box here it is the first thing you see is this piece of paper right here is a checklist of all of the cars i'm assuming it's for the employees so check that out and the six rlc cars which are stuffed into the styrofoam which is good because the styrofoam helps keeps the other boxes in place and these six uh, six mail-in rlc cars yeah so this is like a mail-in for the usa or whatnot and you know me not being a usa i'm happy to have those so anyways here's the styrofoam you gotta remove that and here are six boxes yes so Damn. once you've opened up you know take out the styrofoam you see six big boxes right here and each in each box are six more boxes that's right and each boxes well let's find out and see what's inside so we're gonna open this right up and just slide all the cars yo check that out so here are some of the cars and all of them have the sticker on them which makes them a little bit more special if they're on a fantasy casting obviously no one cares but if they're on a super treasure hunt or whatnot People are gonna go crazy after those. So go check these out, guys. I'm gonna take some time, take out all the cars, and show them to you when I'm done. So yo, check this out, guys. First super in the second box. Oh, man, check this out. Don't worry, I'll show all of the supers later on. But I just wanted to show you guys. Here is the first car and some ZMX, right? I think these are ZMX. I it, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to say ZMX, right, on the card, but I don't see it anywhere i'm not quite sure about that um yes there are zmx in this car i'm not just sure if, if i'm not sure if they're these ones but i think so it looks like zmx so yeah gonna look out for the zmx and the usa exclusives and of course the super treasure hunts all right time to get digging on to the third box here are the cars the hot wheels showroom and the ford must i'm a mustang fanboy in this sexy green color didn't even knew this existed, but check this out. Oh man, I'm trembling. I'm trembling a bit, but yeah, I, did, I didn't even know this existed. And now, now that I have it, I know that it existed. Man, this thing is sick. Yo, check this out. Onto the fourth box, I see a another super treasure hunt. Probably one of the favorites by collectors in 2016, the Porsche 993 GT2. Man, check this out. This is sexy for those who have not seen it before. Man, those real riders. And also, I see the Kmart exclusive. I'm looking for the Dodge Charger. This a pair. It comes in a pair, but here's the Kmart. I think it, it came out exclusive. I think so in this green color. Man, I've always want. I was thinking whether I should bought this. You know, there's someone selling it, but I guess I won't have to buy it now that I have it. Man, check this out. Dodge, Challenger. Challenger. Damn. On to box four. Another super treasure hunt. Back to back. Here's a third one. Acura NSX. This one is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not my favorite, but damn. Check this out for y'all. Acura fanboys. Check this out. And this is the green uh, partner I was talking about. So they go as a pair from the Dan and series. So check that out. So uh, yeah, here are the cars for this box. For those who are wondering. Sorry for the glare, but yeah, here are the cars. Damn. 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 
shaking off the last box right here and laying them all, all out. Here are the flames. Hot Wheels Flame Series and there you go, another super treasure. The Hudson Hornet, I have a loose version of this and now I have a carded version with the factory sealed sticker. And there, there you go, there's the normal version. There's a Zamac right here, the Zamac Pontiac Firebird, which I also surprisingly have, but yeah, it's cool to have a carded version of this. And some other cars, some of these which I don't really have in my collection. So the thing is, there are a lot of cars I want from Hot Wheels, but they cost four Singapore dollars each. So I can't really afford to buy cars that I don't really like too much like for example this is a cool car but i'm not gonna pay four dollars for it when i can when i can buy a lamborghini or a jaguar the kind of thing you know but yeah pretty cool here's the hot wheels frame flames car there you go all right now for box two we have six more boxes let's go ahead and open it right up all right, so for box number seven, here are the cars. I see some really cool cars here, including the Leap Year car, which I already have, but still very cool. For those who don't know, this exists because it was Leap Year in 2016 and a couple of these Acura Integra right here, which I really need an extra of. One of them has like a defects on the car. So now I have a more mint version, which is car that, yeah, so here are all of the cars for this box right here. Oh man, those are a beauty. Especially the Shelby, the Shelby right there. Yeah, Shelby. For box number 8, here is another super treasure hunt, the Drifter. And honestly, the normal version, not too huge of a fan, but this Spectre Flame paint, the nice deep dish wheels, this suits it so well. So check this out, here is the Drifter, and here is the normal version. So other cars that this came with is the Renault RS01 right here, and the Lamborghini Super Trofeo. Lamborghini right there from... I don't know, some really cool cars right here. Check this. Oh, and a Zamac. There's the Zamac Dodge Charger in this uh, uh, Zamac and red trim. So, yep, here are all of the cars for this box. Hmm. Who's that? Another super treasure for box number 9, the 17 Ford GT, which I also have loose and now I have a carded version. So, check this out. Factory sealed. Really nice as a Ford of Ford pen boy. And especially, I love the Ford GT. This is a really, really great piece for me. This is really, really beautiful. And some other cars that come with the, with the box for box number 9 are some other interesting cars right here, which I'm sure you guys really know that I'm not really keen, but they're there. And a Zamac. Carrera GT and the black. Oh man, funny enough, I've been wanting to find this, but I couldn't find anyone selling this for a cheap price. So finally, I have this in my collection. So, yes, although guys, I am a hardcore collector, there are missing cars in my collection. So happy to see that, you know, some of them are filled up. Well, so far. So, yeah, here is for box number nine. Well, for box number 10, another super treasure hunt, the pro stock. Camaro. I mean, yes, super treasures are beautiful, but if there was one super treasure that I actually wished or wished <laughs> that I wanted to have in my collection, this is one of them, man. This Protex Camaro, Camaro Super Treasure. I'm really happy to finally have this in my collection. So check this out. Here's a normal version and a couple of Zamax. This is Zamax right here. A regular treasure. Hunt. Let's go, which honestly no one cares. But yeah, here is the cars for the death box. Ah, very nice. For box number 11, uh, much less interesting than the others, but here they are. There is a Zamac Corvette Stingray right here, some glow in the dark wheels and whatnot. And I just realized that they're actually a, a range by the number right here. Yeah, I know Drifter is pretty dumb, but yeah, I just figured that out. And oh, there's a Mustang right there, which I don't have. So there's another Mustang in my collection. But yeah, all in all, in all here are the cars for box number 11. And for the last box of the main box number 2, we have the Glow in the Dark Wheels. I never really, really paid too much attention to them. I do have this in my collection. You know, it's a really cool card, the Twin Duction, but the others, not really. Oh, there's a treasure hunt right there. But now that I have so much fantasy castings that are Glow in the Dark Wheels, what better way than to turn off the lights and see how they look like? Hey, Barkello, hit it! There you go. Oh, okay. You can't really see the body, but can you see? You can see the wheels are glowing right there. All right. Thanks, Barikello. Can you please turn off the light? Okay. Yep. All right. There you go. Yeah. So thanks, Barikello. And yeah, glowing the dark wheels. I mean, I guess together they look cool. They're fantasy castings, but yeah, still pretty cool. Check these out. Oh my God, guys! Who knew opening up Hot Wheels cars would be so tiring? But yes, now on to box three, and here is what my room looks like so far. Opening just two boxes. I think by the end of the night, my floor is covered in cars. But here they are, and now for box three. Actually, it's box one. I didn't open them in order, but yeah, you get idea. Box three. Hey, box number thirteen. Here we are. Another super treasure hunt car, Bonic right here. And to be honest, guys, uh. It's uh, not really a nice looking super treasure. I heard a lot of like 
customizers they take the wheels and just use it for a wheel swap which i might do no i'm just kidding guys don't worry but here it is a super treasure hunt and some other cars here is a zamac dodge viper and i think this might be the night one of the nicest because of the hot wheels racing livery which i think all of us collectors can appreciate right the hot wheels racing livery is really really sick however in this box uh, here's the blue one i'm looking for the red uh, kmart version or the target version i can't remember but it's a red version of this which is usa which is a usa exclusive so yeah i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for that but for now here is in what's in this box in the realm of x racers and a couple of other cars for box number 14 here it is we have some night shifters over here the x-ray cars and oh that's a regular treasure hunt right there some yada 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 stuff you know <laughs> no, i'm just kidding i mean they are cool guys don't get me wrong if you guys think that drifter hates fantasy casting that's not the case i just hate the fact that they cost the same as a real car you know like yeah that, that, you guys get the idea but yeah here are the cars for this box not that very interesting just some x racer cars so yeah on to the next box Oh, we got a casualty here for box number 15 for this Camaro concept, which, oh, I don't have this in my collection. Check this out. It just creased. Yeah, I guess it wasn't boxed properly. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to straighten it out, I guess. But, yeah, it kind of sucks. But anyways, here are the cars. Some uh, mix and match x races here. Hot Wheels Digital Circuit. And here's a Treasure Hunt Grand Sport. One of, the, one of the more better Treasure Hunts that's not a fantasy casting. I actually have this already. And, yeah, check it out. Very nice treasure hunt and the 2005 Ford Mustang. The first case where Hot Wheels made the front adjustable, adjustable bumper, right? So yeah, this is a yeah, relic right here. Uh, but for the most part, other than uh, those cars, yeah, here is what's in box number 15. Uh, 16! Yeah, oh, look at that. Kmart exclusive, right? I think the color. This oh, black Subi WX STI, I don't have this in my collection. I do have the red one right here, but not this sexy, sexy black one. Oh man, I really have to have this. I've been wanting this to, I've been wanting this, but it goes for a pretty, oh, not cheap price, you would say. So yeah, good thing I also don't have to buy that car. And here are some of the other cars. Shelby Cobra Concept, some fantasy cars, and the D Muscle. This is a Chinese New Year car, so check this out. And a couple of other fantasy castings. So yeah, here is in the, the box. Very nice, especially the black. Black Subi, really love that. Mwah, very nice. Seventeen, no, yeah, this one looks pretty nice because this is the Chrome series. Like, oh man, yeah, you know, once again, there, the fantasy castings, and guys, bear with me. I'm gonna say that a lot during this video. There are fantasy castings, but the Chrome cars, they are pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. And oh, here's the treasure hunt, uh, Mig Rig right there, the fast cash, and oh, Night Burner. I like this fantasy casting because it looks like the Diora too. But here are the cars. Very nice, this is like the chrome series, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, but no juicy stuff here. Well, for now. Ah, uh, you made it halfway without clicking out of the video. At this point, a lot of people have probably clicked away, but check this out. They actually signed their signature here and employed to check that all of the cars are here. But yeah, I'm right about that. By, by now, I would guess a lot of people have clicked away, and if you're still here, good job, you made it halfway. But let's, uh, let's uh, take a look at this. Chrome cars right here, a lot of them here are the gold chrome cars. For example, the Model Racer, the Rev Rod, some uh, two-timer right there. <laughs> two-timer. Sounds like someone cheating on another person. Oh, that guy, that the person is a two-timer. <laughs> but Hot Wheels, Papa Wheelie, and some other cars right here. But for the most part, nothing interesting here. No super treasures or what, no, no exclusives, I think. I don't know, but yeah, here they are. So, alright, halfway point point <laughs> all right yo so here's uh, there's only like 10 cars in this uh, box right here as compared to like the 14 15 other boxes because we have the thick cars in this package right here including these motorbikes which are pretty cool pretty cool and a treasure hunt mountain model right here but what i really like is this uh, street brigade right here i've always wanted to get my hands on this i think that's like the fifth or sixth time i'm saying that but yeah it's true as a skateboarder i've always wanted this but I don't know, I, I haven't really been able to find it and I, if I do, I just kind of think like eh, it's just a skateboard Hot Wheels car but now I don't have to contemplate because I have it in my collection right now so yeah, here is for box number, what, 19? yeah, box number 19 Hey there guys, it's Kermit Frog here. Okay, that was a very bad uh, box impression. Anyways, here's box number 20 and uh, Ford Fiesta. Ford fanboy. No, I need to explain myself. In this Zamac version, which I think most of you guys, I already have this in my collection. But now I have the factory sealed sticker along with the three other, uh, two other variations right here. The Ice Shredder, some snow related stuff because it's from the Snow Stormers series and uh, Oats 442 right here. But yeah, other than the Zamac, yeah, here's what's in box number 20. 
Box number 21, some more rather big cars. You can see there's only 9 cars in this box, but here it is, the Toyota Off-Road Truck, which is really, really cool. Some custom Ford Broncos, and um, one of them, according to Box, is an exclusive recolor. I'm not sure which of the two is uh, is the exclusive recolor. If I were to guess, I think is it the green one, I think. But yeah, check that out. Some tankinators and some yada yada right here. So yeah, other than the exclusive recolor, which is pretty cool, here is box number 21. Next box, I see a lot of off-road vehicles right here, the Dogzilla, right? For those who have played the mobile game Hot Wheels Race Offs, uh, hashtag not sponsored, I kind of have, I played that car before, so this one is uh, pretty special to me. But here are the other cars, Treasure Hunt Dune Cruiser, I mean, not really a huge amount of casting, but the decals will look cool. And trucks, mainly trucks for this box right here. And the Ford Raptor, right? Forza Horizon 4, oh, this, this thing handles very nicely and very fast in Forza Horizon 4. Playground games. So yeah, just a little tip if you're playing Forza Horizon 4. Anyways, a bit off track right there. Get it off track because we're talking about off-road vehicles. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm so sorry guys. But yeah, a bit off track right here. Here are the cars for box number 22. 22. Wow, another juicy box because it's been a while since in this video we've seen a Super Treasure Hunt, the Super Treasure Hunt, bad mother to man. This thing looks sick, it's a fantasy casting, but it looks, it resembles a car, I just can't quite touch it, but it's the nice thick rubber tires and the Spectre Flame paint on this one makes this casting look so cool. And there's the regular version, there's also a recolor right here, exclusive recolor. The Dodge Ram 1500, I do have this variation, so it's very uh, surprising to see this because this blue, I don't know, it looks really nice, much nicer. Not, I'm not sure because, you know, it does really look nicer or just because it's an exclusive recolor. I don't know, but that looks really cool. And some other cars right here, the Zamac Chevy C10 right there, some Ford F-150 and some more C10s, you know, this, this, this three basically. So yeah, pick up trucks for this box right here. And for the last box within the fourth box, you guys forget, I'm saying some planes, some flying vehicles, some jet threats right here, sky fire and oh jet jet 4.0 yeah i mean i already said that there but no oh, one of my favorite fantasy casting because of the opening wings and uh mad props so there's some hot wheels collectors who actually collect all of the mad props variations so yeah this car uh this is the box full of uh, flying stuff and uh honda Mangi z50 right there so here it is for the last box for the fourth box yeah you you, you get it Woo, guys Guys, guys, are you guys holding on? No worry, we're in box 5 out of 6 now, and uh, I don't know, maybe I should have done this earlier, but here it is. They actually have a checklist right here, and the whoo, Hot Wheels Highway 35 uh, looking stamp right there, and that's the day. This is 2 years old, and look, they actually individually, individually, individually checked it. So yeah, alright, very cool box, and oh yeah, here's the box, Hot Wheels logo right there. Man, these are really good, Hot Wheels is a great job, you know, making a factory sealed set, am I right? Yeah, no? I don't know, why am I rambling on? You guys want to see what's inside the box, right? Okay, okay, I'll go and do it right now, let's go! Woo! Alright, just came from dinner, time to unbox box 4, unbox box 4, yeah, yeah, you get it! Alright, look at those, mm, very nice, yeah, let's go ahead and open them right up! Box number 25, let's put them in rows of 3 to make things more easier to see, check these out, these are like the street beasts, and uh, I don't really like most of them except for the shark bite, man, this is a really cool casting, very smart of whoever designed the shark bite with the moving mouth and whatnot. Really, really cool, and some other stuff right here. Scorpido, I used to have one of those in uh, when I was a child, but yeah, for the most part, you know, fantasy castings, they're cool, cool, but yeah, that's that's uh, nothing juicy right here. Box number 26, 26 is also my birthday, 26 June, wink wink, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not implying anything, but yeah, check this out, the hottest art cars, man, this is like the mini series, it's like 10 of the, ten of them in the mini series, and this is the only mini series, for 2016 at least, which I've collected all of the cars, that's just how awesome this is, I really love the hottest art cars, so check this out, there's some, you know, combat medic right there, the boom box, Super Treasure Hunt! Okay, I don't know what was that, but yo, check this out. Another juicy Super Treasure Hunt. And this honestly looks cool. The reason why I don't really mind the Super Treasure Hunt is because it looks like the Cadillac Escalade, which is a alright car. I'm not a huge fan of Cadillac Escalade, but I used to play it in the game, and it's just very interesting, you know, to see this car right here. Super Treasure Hunt. And here are the other cars as well. There's supposed to be a green Kmart, the exclusive uh, Dodge van, which is not in this box, so I guess it's gonna be in another box. But yeah, here's box number 26. In the next box, right here, more art cars, some BMWs right here, and a special juicy one is this J Mac Morris Mini right here. What well, damn show! Check that out, and also the I think Kmart exclusive recolor 
right here the Volkswagen Squareback which surprisingly I already have it because it's a really nice car and actually I don't even know why I bought it I just I guess I like bought it on impulse but it's a cool car but now I have a sealed version and here are the other cars some M Force right here in the red and black some more art cars and the 3 point OCS L race car when this first came out a lot of people are quite interested in this car check that out really nice casting so yeah and this one is not bad very nice box of cars here Oh yo, check this out guys, the BMW Z4 Motorsport Super Treasure Hunt. Man, this thing's sexy man, sexy, sexy, sexy. And even if you don't have the Super Treasure Hunt, the regular version is not bad as well. It has all the decals, there's no Robert Tyson Spectre Flame Paint, really, really nice. And also, oh, the Nissan Fairly Z, probably the Need for Speed right there, and the ZMAC. 4GT LM, right? It's supposed to be the 4GT LM. In this, oh, this, I don't have this yet, so this is really, really nice. And the BMW 2002 as well. Check that out, man. This is really, really nice. I love ZMAX. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but some people they don't like ZMAX because it doesn't have color. But I, I really, really like them. So yeah, check this out. This is for box number. Um, oh God, I lost track right here. Box number 28. Really nice uh, cars here. And oh, once again, let's take a look at that. Oh, spicy. Check that out. Holy yup, let's put it aside. Box number 29, and I already see it. Another super treasure hunt. Bruh, check that out. Oh, this thing is actually it's okay. The wheels they look very plasticky on this one, so it kind of ruins the look. But for me, I kind of like it. Maybe because it's just a super treasure hunt. I don't know, I'm being biased. But I, I love Corvettes, and this one looks alright. I mean, it does look very plasticky, but still, it's a super treasure hunt. And here are them side to side. And here are some other cars from the Hot Wheels Speed graphics series and oh boy this one the 180SX the Supra the Dodge Porsche you name it they're all here all here for the party and once again oh juicy 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 super damn for the last box of the fifth box ah, more dings just what I wanted yeah it just kind of sucks that some of these cars end up being dinged but here are the other cars uh, not much here just some Hot Wheels City works cars the Hollinator which a lot of people like the Time of Taxi I also like it with the opening doors uh, the Street Cleaver which sadly the, it used to have 6 wheels and now it has 4 and some other stuff here oh the Loopster yeah I mean it sucks there's only 1 here but yeah I mean, it would have been cool if they provided like 5 right no actually that, that's too far but anyways, here it is. No juicy, good stuff here, but alright, not bad. Alright, so now we're into box 6 of 6. And what I noticed right away for this first box is they're all like some exclusive recolors right here. I'm not sure why it's arranged that way, so I should assume I'm gonna find the green Dodge van here and the red Lancer I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and open this right up. Alright, so this is interesting. There is the smexy red Lancer right there and the green Dodge van. And I forgot there's a white F-Type which oh, I'm really happy to have in my collection. And a Dodge Charger which looks bad. I mean, not bad, but yo, like, look at that. This is the exclusive card, right? For is it Kmart or something? I, I can't really remember. I can't keep track. But we have the summer and the winter cards right here. So look at that. And we have the special edition cars here are, are, are these kroger exclusive guys i'm not from the usa so i really don't know but check this out and uh, treasure hunt t-rex troyer <laughs> right there i'm really really happy to have this but yeah overall uh, look at that very nice very nice in case you lost the box number count, we are at now at box number 32 and we have the rich the 3 million BC right here or the 3 million AC where we live in solar energy and oh sadly there's no uh, the Tesla Roadster here I'm assuming it's in the next box but we do have this ZMAC Tesla Model S right here which looks quite similar to the silver version but it's there and some other cars right here check that out yeah, nothing too much juicy over here, but yeah, that must. Oh, Elon Musk is bay. Yeah, so check this out. This is really nice. But for the most part, yeah, it's an alright box. Hey, Lamau, there's two super treasures in this box right here. First is the Tesla Roadster. And oh boy, ever since this got launched into space, its price has skyrocketed. <laughs> Literally. Uh, that joke has been made millions of times, but yeah. And a Nitro Door Slammer. Super treasure hunt. Oh man, this this is really sexy. Check that out. Here's the normal version for the Tesla Roadster and here's the normal version for the Nitro Door Slammer. So yeah, check this out. Some other uh, stuff right here for the games, right? The, you know, the basketball, Java the D, Java the Do. M11 for soccer, Velocita for running because Velocity or Amazon for something, I don't know. But yeah, here are the cars. Really juicy. Two super treasure hunt. Damn, check this out. Here are all the cars. And by the way, until now, the, the glare right here from my light in the ceiling. Yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks. But anyways, here's a car. Hopefully you get a good 
good view. All right, on to the next box. I'm Batman. But yeah, your Batman cars. Oh, okay, so yep, another super treasure hunt right here. Oh man, this Batman looks. This Batman will look sick. Okay, that's a really bad impression. But oh man, this. She this looks so much nicer in person. Oh man, even has the ghost decals looks really nice on the black spectrum flame paint. But not just that, it also has a Zamek version. Oh, okay, this Zamek looks cool. I, I heard these are fetching quite some a lot of price, not only because Hot Wheels collectors are going after them, but because of Batman uh, Bat, Batman fans, so that's very interesting. Uh TV series Batmobile right there, and some more cars here, yada yada yada. The in the famous Submarine right here that sold for what $90 before it came out because Beatles fans bought it. Yeah, it's really interesting. But yeah, for the most part, Batman cars for this set right here. And oh this this two right here. Oh this two is bait. Check that out. Yeah, Batmobile for this box. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Okay, that was a really bad uh, impression once again. But yeah, um this is like the Hot Wheels screen time slash Hot Wheels rescue cars and yeah the back to the future time machine hover mode is right here. Snoopy, check this out, and Super Mario. I'm not really a huge Mario fan, but this is alright. I mean now that I have it, it does look kinda cool here right here. And the treasure hunt, the grease rod, which I honestly don't know. I just know it's like from the show, right? The Hot Wheels Team Epic Race, which I never watched. Like, maybe I'm an adult, but perhaps I should give that cartoon a try and see what it's all about. But yeah, that's it for this box. Nothing much. Da -da -da, da -da 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 Guys, you've made it to the last box. Congratulations. Yeah, no, really. Uh, if you're still sticking around now, um, either you're really bored or you're very interested to see what's in the box. Although you might have already seen them. Oh, wow. This might be the worst thing I've seen in this box. Hopefully it's not Super Treasure Hunt. As long as it's not Super Treasure Hunt, it's alright. If it's a fantasy casting, I don't give a damn. So, ooh, slide that out. Yeah, there you go. Check that out. I was uh, gonna do that for every, uh, you know, box, but I think it might get, would have gotten repetitive. But anyways, let's lay these cars out. And I already see a Zamek. Chevy Blazer right there and oh that looks there, there you go for a closer look and ooh the regular Treasure Hunt Dodge Charger SRT8 I think this is, has, has got to be the best Treasure Hunt Hot Wheels has made and surprisingly guys I don't have this in my collection and now I have it honestly I was hoping I could find this on the bags I was thinking like hey it's like uh, you know uh, uh, we call it it's a regular Treasure Hunt so it should be easy to find but nope until I have not found it on the pegs I find regular Treasure Hunts on the pegs almost all the time so really happy to see this but for the most part uh, Really cool, Zamek right here, nice treasure hunt, and two, yeah, it kind of sucks that they got dinged cars right here. <sighs> Whoa, guys, here's the aftermath of the unboxing, leave them, lay them out nicely. Um, you know what, I'm gonna lay all of them on my room floor. Yep, let's go ahead and do it, let's go. Guys, after <laughs> almost an hour, actually it's half an hour, it's just easy to... Here it is, all laid out in my room, covering like what, two thirds? I, I barely have any room to walk, you know? But here it is, this is what 447 cars laying on the floor looks like. And there you have it guys for the unboxing, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to take a closer look at these cars, I'll provide another link in the video, you know, like maybe a small highlight of the cars I have. But for now, that was a very long video, I, wanna hold, I don't want to hold you guys longer. I'll see you guys next time.